Masa, thank you for taking the time to come and do this podcast this morning. Um, I've known you for, wow, it's been a long time. It's been a long time because I think Michael Jackson, when he came here, mm -hmm. I, I, met you, I knew you before then, right? Yes, and I remember the Michael Bumgardner. Mike, Mike Bumgardner, that's right. You remember him. He was the general manager here at that time. So it had to be 2008 that I probably got to know you. Around, 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 that yeah, around that time, time. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me this. Where? Tell me where were you born? I was born originally in Asakusa, Tokyo. Asakusa. Yes. So you wait, wait. So you're you're really a Tokyo light. Yes, I'm the third generation in Tokyo. So what did your okay? So your grandfather, what did he do? He was a traditional craftsman. Okay. What kind of craft? What did he do? Uh, he's creating the zori. What's the, the shoe for the kimono wear for the girls. Oh, really? Oh, yes. oh, oh. What do they call, don't they call it something else? Um, z z zori? Zori or uh, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't create for the men who's called geta. Geta, right, right, right. But it's for the men. My, my father, the grandfather creating for the, for the for ladies' kimono shoes named zori. Right, the zori. He made those shoes. Yeah. The real, uh, the high ones? Well, this, he only creating the fabric part. The fabric part. Okay, so you made the fabric that came between the toes. That's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, was it a shop he had? He had a... Uh, no, he, he doesn't own the shops because he he's a craftsman. He was the craftsman, okay. Mm. So he's there. And then your father ended up doing the same thing? Uh, no, he, my, my father well, owns the retail stores. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of, what did he... He's, he usually selling the clothes and he also owns a noodle shop too. Okay. So, well, how many kids in your family? When you were born, just you? Are you the only child? I, I have two more. One sister and one, one brother. And what, are you the oldest? I'm the oldest one. And how old is your s next is sister, right? Next sister is uh, one year younger than her. And then your brother? He's five years younger than her. Okay. Oh, are you guys close, Nakayoshi? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're we pretty good. We're pretty oh, good. That's good. Were they, were they at your wedding? Yes. They were there? Yeah. My, my sister was helped me to translate to any language to to my my the guest from my my work okay. the job right as well as you and Dan whoever oh. speak English really mm -hmm. my my sister taking care of that <laughs> wait just a minute your sister speaks English as well yes she's a dentist and she speaks English what about your brother what does he do he's he's working for the importing company at the warehouse area in Tokyo Bay. Okay. So oh. he's, he's working really hard about under the COVID okay. or any other emergency situation mm -hmm. such as an earthquake or tsunami, mm -hmm. which I'm always worried about it. Right. So does your, s wait, does your sister have a family too? Does she have children? Y she doesn't have a children, okay. but he, yeah, she already get married. Okay. And your brother, does he have children? He's still single. Still single? He's still single. So he always comes over happy every time he sees you guys. <laughs> well, he's happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you just got married. You've, only, you've been married since two years now, right? Two, yes. Two years. Yeah, only two, two years. It was two years. Two, two days before the Prime Minister Abe declared the situation of the emergency. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And it was so nice. We were so lucky. Yes. We, we were so lucky. so lucky. We didn't have any clue about that. And we were there. You had me and Dan both there. Yes. And that was such a nice event. I'm going to put pictures up of that. Oh, okay. Thank you. We'll do that. I have to put the pictures up because I have them. Mm -hmm. That was a really nice event. Thank you so much for inviting me. That was good. So tell me, so when you were little, when you were young, what did you do? What kind of sports did you do in elementary school? I'm afraid I didn't like the sports, but <laughs> I was playing the badminton. Oh, really? Only, That's only one year. Mm -hmm. When you were in elementary? I was in a, a, the athletic. Okay. Okay, so then well, from there, I, I prefer the long distance rather than short distance. Yeah, I was the same way. So, elementary. So then, in junior high, what did you do? Any sports then? 
the same, same thing, but only first, first one year. One year, okay. <laughs> one year. <laughs> so I have, I have had a hard time for the elder students. So. Really? They were mm. kind of bully? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really follow what they say. <laughs> so you were fighting a lot with the, well, with I, the I, I pretend look, I pretend good guy, but I didn't really listen anyway. You didn't listen to him anyway? Yeah, I understand. So what about when you got into high school, did you get into sports then? No, I didn't do the sports because my high school is very famous about a really strong competition sports. So I did the broadcasting club. You started broadcasting? Yes, at that time. So what did you broadcasting no, for? I, I liked. I like. I really liked the sound editing. Mm -hmm. So mixing some effects and put on the. But it's uh, it's already thirty years ago. There is not that much technology. Right, right. But I really enjoy the interview for the friends or. Oh, is that what you did? Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. So you did that with for the classmates in Class, high school. Classmates, yeah. When we go into the baseball stadium, that's for really big for the student. Okay. St student tournament, the high school baseball tournament. What high school did you go to? It, it, it is called the Tokai Dai. In Tokai Dai. Tokai Dai in Urayasu. Urayasu, yeah. It's located to the Disneyland. Very close by Disneyland. Yeah. Wow. So you went there. So when you finished, the subject you liked, you did badminton, you liked broadcasting. So when you graduated, where did you go? Did you go to college? I went to the college. Which college did you go to? It's called the Tokai University. Tokai. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you study? What the I studied the literature, American and English, in the British. Why? You've always liked? No, I, I, I like to read the books. Uh -huh. So I was I was quiet student. Always quiet. But I, I was a backpacker. While I'm just I'm in the college, so so half year I did a part time job. Then I go to the Europe, or Africa, India. I went to total about uh, twenty countries during that time. By yourself? By uh, by myself, except one with my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Really? So you went all this? Do you have pictures of that? I well, you know, yes. I I still have a lot of pictures in my house, but. We didn't have a smartphone during that time. Right, mm -hmm. of course. So I have a, I really love the old fashioned pictures. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, can you, can you take some pictures of your pictures and send them to me? Okay, I will do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some of your favorite pictures yes. of where you went and tell me where it is. Yeah, I went to like Jordan, in Petra, d and Dubai before the developed. Right. Well, yeah, the India, I like it, Middle East. Okay. And Mexico, and I went to Cuba too. You went to Cuba too. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. I I really enjoy the Japanese nationality. So how old were you in doing this? Were you like twenty? I or? was starting seventeen. When you started, you were seventeen. Mm -hmm. When I went to the Edinburgh, mm -hmm. but accidentally, it uh, it happened that Margaret Thatcher's demo the protest in London. So I have a hard time staying right. London during that time. Right. Mm -hmm. But I I I really enjoy that. So tell me this. So, wait, what did your father think about you traveling? No, he just he, he was really positive about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mother? My my mom really happy about it too. They were? He was she was very surprised when I talk in English during I'm sleeping on the bed. Because you were learning English, you were learning to speak English, right? Probably I was in I was I have right. had a hard time. Right. Ah, uh, that's something. You had a hard time when you were speaking English. Ah. Like a nightmare. Like a li ni nightmare. Ni nightmare. You mean after your trips or after, something? After, 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 after my trips. Then you, there's like um, PTSD or something, post-traumatic <laughs> <laughs> stress. Uh, prob probably a positive one. Pro right, a po positive, positive one. Mm -hmm. And you're speaking in English. Mm. And she'd tell you about it. Yes, she's, she remembers that. She mentioned to me. What were some of your favorite trips that you went on, that you really remember and you like to think about that? that you're going to tell your son when he gets older now? Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. Probably the travel is changed already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I enjoy the train. OK. Mm -hmm. Probably the air tra trans transportation, I love it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, at that time, people enjoy arranging that transportation, such as right. to, to see the timetables tab time on the really thick book. Right. I really like that. Mm -hmm. OK. To look through everything and find the timetables and yeah, be before we start going to digital, mm -hmm. right? Probably people doesn't know anymore. Don't no. don't know it anymore. And also looking at a regular map, and see where you're gonna go. The that's paper maps. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I have to 
find out the good hotel before I go and trying to find is it really exist when I go there? <laughs> right. Especially I'm in Africa. <laughs> you went to Africa? I went to Africa too. Where in Africa did you go? It's called uh, Tanzania. You went to Tanzania? Mm -hmm. And Zanzibar. Zanzibar, okay. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Ah, that was interesting. What years are we talking about? What year was this that you started? It was while I was in college, the third year probably. I'm, I was 20, 21. So when you was 19 what? 19 1994 1993 mm -hmm. Okay. You started going and traveling around. Yes. The, I, I, the very first one we went to the Scotland. I went to the Scotland is 1990. 1990 you went to Scotland. I think the bef it's before the Gulf War. Before the Gulf War just mm -hmm. but that's when it was just getting ready to start. Right. It started in 1990. Mm -hmm. yeah. And following year I couldn't go before because of the Gulf War. Gulf War right. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that though. And also, tell me, what was it like for the food? What did you do for food in different countries? Uh, I have had a hard time to order every single restaurant mm -hmm. or a kiosk. Okay. Because what I'm saying, they don't understand it. So what did you eat a lot? Well, first time, I only ate uh, apple. Okay. Apple at the kiosk in train station. Right. I ate a lot of apples. <laughs> and after that, some sandwiches. And right. probably after that, when Wendy's Burger or Burger King. They had those? Th oh, of course they did, yes. Mm. So you went to Wendy's or Burger King? Yes. Yeah. I enjoyed that too. Yeah. I, I, on, I only had to enjoy about it. The, okay, what was, where were the places you went where you really loved the food from the country? I enjoy the Indian local food. You had good, because it's curry. Yeah, Indian curry. Right. The local people eat it. Mm. Right. And did you ever, did you ever, during your trips, did you ever have any hard times? Uh, right. I, I believe it, it's not a hard time from the food. Okay. But after three weeks, I usually lost my energy at all. You did? So, after, so, so I, I only enjoyed the first 20, 20 days. After that, I tried to come back to Japan. Try to come back. But you could do 20 days. 20 days. You I figured that out, right? Pro probably <laughs> probably the wallet-wise and stomach-wise. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> Expense wise and because of what you're eating. Mm. That's it. So when you came back, did you always come back thinner? Did you A always lose bit. you always lost weight? N n never getting fat. Never got in fat. Never. Mm -hmm. You've never been fat in your life, have you? Well, I think now is the most The most you've ever been is now. I'm the heaviest now. But now you have your first baby and your second one's on the way. Yes. The next next three weeks. Next three weeks. Mm -hmm. You're having what? A boy. A boy. Did you do you have the name already? I'm still working on it. You're still working I'm on still it? I'm still not working on it. And you named, did you name your first son or did your wife? I, name? I didn't make it. You named I didn't make it. I tried right. to, to see the kanji, which is good on it. Right. Must be good good numbers. Right. I, I, I have had a hard time first one. Right. Because I didn't know I have to do, I had to register within first seven days. That's right. In, in Japan. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. For the Japanese name. Japanese yes. name. So oh. I couldn't really sleep fast seven nights. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that idea before. Nirvana. So you didn't th yeah, of course you didn't. So your whole life changed. Almost. It did, Almost basically. Did. Wow. So that's yeah. interesting. So tell me, so your father, you said he was into purchasing. What did he do? Your father had kind well, of... He, he, was, he, was, well, he was owned a retail store. Retail store, right? He owned a retail store. In a noodle shop. In a noodle shop. Did you work with him ever? Only the part time, just a little bit. Just a little mm. bit. Okay. I I prefer to working outside. Yeah. During during the high school, when I was in Japan, it was under the bubble economy. So right. So I really enjoyed the part time job in Ginza. Right. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you like the Ginza? Yeah, because I can make more money, and to make it ready to go to to see the world. That's right. That's right. Mm. Oh, that was the bubble, and you made so much money. People could make so much money during that time. That's right, because mm. people gave so much away. I sure did. So tell me this: What made you decide to want to learn English? Have um, you always wanted to learn learn English, or does your do your mother and father speak English? No, hardly, hardly speak English. But your sister does. She's the, yes, she's she's intelligent. What about your br the brother? He he's I would say average. Okay, mm. but he speaks some English. Of course, he, okay. he, he, he works for the importing, exporting. So he has to, mm -hmm. right. So, but what, what got you interested at the beginning? Do you remember? Uh, probably only the England very fast. Okay. Mm. 
And I know that time we didn't have that much cheap air airlines during that time. And I used the Russian airlines. They, they used to call it Soviet airline, airlines, right, they did. Air Flow. Yeah. And yeah, I enjoy England. After that, I did the Trans Siberian Railway too. Right. And I use a ship between Yokohama and uh, Russian Far East. Oh. Uh, there is no, mo there, th that is a natural motivation for me to learn foreign language. About. You mean, did you leave without speaking English or did you already know some English when you first o took only, it? Only the school, only from the high school. I didn't, I didn't specially, p particularly put on effort to, to learn extra. Right. So you had no guiding friends? At all. At all? At, at that time, no. So when you went on your first trip, you said, my name is? I started that way. That way. And I'm hungry. I was hungry. Mm-hmm. I want to I wanna buy. I could, I could say only apple. Apple. <laughs> That's why you eat so many apples. That's correct. I didn't understand the French fries French between fries. the fried potato. Right. Spaghetti. Uh, there is no spaghetti in, in London at that time, so <laughs> I, was I was lucky. <laughs> there was no spaghetti? I didn't go to such kind of restaurant. No kind of restaurant, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Uh, no, my father, no, my mother has a friend in England. She is my mom's neighbor's friend. Okay. She, she, she got married in the Englishman, right. li living in London, right. working for the Japan Airlines. Okay. That is the only, only person. So when you got there, you were able to really eat? I tried. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, she's Japanese then? She's Japanese, but she was in Japan that time. Okay. Oh, she was in Japan, so you so couldn't I, see I her? I only could have seen, seen him in London. Oh, so you saw her husband? Yes. Okay. He, he, took, he took me to the Indian restaurant that time but could in, he in London. Could he speak any Japanese? Not really. Not really. Not really. But he was very, very, very kind. Okay. No. Are your mom and dad still healthy? They do. Uh, my my mom is really straight, really healthy. Okay. My father passed away six years ago. Okay. Mm. Sorry to hear that, Jess. Didn't you tell me that your mother still does a lot of hiking and climbing? No, my my you mom know, doesn't really do. But okay. he she's working for the neighborhood or community. Mm -hmm. she, she's the chief of the community right now. So. Okay. She's she enjoy working with a friend. Friend originally. She was. She came from the same, same elementary school or same junior high school. She's late seventies, but she's still having a good people around her, which is great. So she still lives in the same area, the same around house. The same, yes, same. S s probably a couple different, couple different. Uh, it's c it's corner, or I would okay. say, the blocks. Right. Mm, but still same area. Same area. Same so area not the house that you grew up in, different house. Different house already. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what do you do? What do you do now? What is what's your job now? No, after you finish college, what was the first job that you had? Ah, uh, my friend recommended me to go to the base because I can learn English free and make money. Okay. Then which base? Which base? I called the personal office in Yokosuka base. Yokosuka base. Okay. And I li still remember the HR officer named Mrs. Ashigaki. Okay. She doesn't answer me at the same day. Call me tomorrow, same time. And I did about 10 days, same thing. Mm -hmm. And probably I assume she realized I'm serious mm -hmm. to s start working. Then she, she put me to start working at New Sun Hotel, mm -hmm. second floor. That was your first job? That this is my first job. Then where you are now? The exact, that's exactly. I was a storekeeping, the cashier. <laughs> Mm -hmm. When year was that? When year was that? When you got your first job? Twenty-two. I was you, twenty-two. Twenty-two, but do, what year was that? Nineteen. Nineteen ninety-five. Nineteen ninety-five. Mm -hmm. So you've been there since nineteen ninety-five. How many years have you been there now? Twenty-three. More. Twenty-four. No, it, no, it's about ninety-five. Yeah, twenty-four years. Twenty-four, twenty-five. 24 mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I, I move a little bit and right. promote it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but basically still the same. And but that puts you over, now you're over, aren't you over more than just the new sauna? I'm, I'm only taking care of the new sauna hotel store okay. and Hardy Barracks, and Hardy Hardy. Beach. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. those two. Uh, and then you, you go from back and forth to there, but then sometimes you have to go to the base to procure stuff? Uh, pro probably uh, 
I was required. I during that time I was required to attend the conference on the base every week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably my my boss gave me the opportunity to right. learn anything more. Right. So what? So are you under? Are you what? What are you a GS? Do you have a GF? Or uh, you work for the Japanese government? I'm yeah. I'm working for the Japanese government. Japanese government, mm -hmm. not for the U.S. Not directly U.S. Because because some people like at the Sano, some people are. U.S. government, some are Japanese government, exactly. correct? Exactly. Yes, yes. And you're Japanese government. So all of your rules are set up by the Japanese law. Exactly. Okay. So do you have a retirement age? Is it Retirement age should be 60. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that I still have to work 15 more years, not 12 more years. Right. And during the period of the pension, Pension money start paying sixty five, mm -hmm. so that I may have to start. I may have to work until sixty five. I think so. Yeah, we are still assuming. Yeah, and they may make it seventy. You know, they're thinking about that. Unfortunately, I right. have to. I You've still have that. to work thirty more years. Right, yeah. they've been talking about that. Mm. Wow, does your wife? Your wife's a doctor, isn't she? Ah, uh, she's a lawyer. A lawyer. That's okay. But she's you. a Chinese lawyer. Right. So she doesn't, sh and she's taking care of the babies and kids right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she doesn't work. Right. Well, she, that's work, but it's not well, the kind of work she d she graduated to do. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> She's a charming woman too. Very Thank charming. You. You're a very lucky man. I'm. I try to be lucky until I get lucky woman. There you go. You got a you got a good woman. She's I was really waiting. Good. Yes. That's good. Has she been able to go back since she's been? Here? No. After the corona, but you may limit that. Yeah. You mentioned that my wedding. Mm -hmm. We just went to the. China one month before, just one month before. Just that. one month before, they already start start mm -hmm. talking about the Wuhan. They did at, at that time, yes. So probably we already we already got uh, acquired immune immunity, right? Immunity from that China. Because you were probably a little sick anyway, and then you got better. Exactly. Yeah, I think that happened to me. I think we got sick. My wife and I got sick at the same time, but only for like three days. Y me too. Three days, right? Mm -hmm. just, just, just like a flu, the lady right. strong flu. Right. Mm -hmm. My lung. Same with me. It's in mine was in February. That's so interesting. And I could cough up and I could feel the mucus in my lung, but I didn't feel bad. I could just feel my lung was filled full of mucus. And I coughed. I asked my wife to give me something. She did. And it was three days. I was finished. Me too. Just a high fever mm -hmm. and just a little coughing, but probably more than, more than, more than the, a little. But right. same like flu. Right. I didn't know where at, around that time. Right. That was around, that was in 20... End of January, yeah, right. 20, 2019. Same right. year. Mm. Yes. No, it was actually, mine was, you mean January 2020? That's, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it started in 2019. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. October when they had that Olympic thing, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, the, the military Olympics in that time. And then that's when it spread. But I felt... In February, that's when I felt it. And I think my wife and I built up immunity because nothing's happened since then. I got my shots. Did you get your, get your shots too? I did shot twice already, mm -hmm. but there is no side effect at all. Same here. Would you do Pfizer or? I did the Pfizer in, in Shinjuku, the yes. Tokyo Metropolitan Government Office right. building. Right. Yeah, I had had an opportunity for the shot right. for the to attend the Olympic Games mm -hmm. related job. Yeah, right. and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. No. So what is it like now? What, do you, what is your business like now? Things are changing so much. Uh, fortunately, our job, we're trying to recover a lot. Mm -hmm. And almost almost uh, same as usual, B back to already, mm -hmm. same as usual. And we are expecting getting more, more to return than normal. So you think you're going to get the, your, your BX that you have there more stocked? Because right now it's kind of sparse. Uh, like before, uh, we have having uh, difficulties for procuring right. and logistical issue. Mm -hmm. so maybe we we going to back to normal for the fiscal next year. You think so? Mm -hmm. You mean back to where it was before? Back to um, of course. With the with the with all of the stock and everything that you had before. Yeah, because we are suspended during one year and a half, right. but w I already confirmed that everything will be back by February. 2022. Oh, wow, that's good. Uh, probably our staff in headquarters of Virginia Beach, mm -hmm. they are working hard right now about it. Yeah, that's good. I really so appreciate that. 
Would, do you have any hobbies or anything? Because you're working. I always see you working all the time. Well, I pretend always working all the time, but I enjoy commute between home and my home to the New San Hotel. You enjoy the, are you still in your Corvette? Unfortunately, I, 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 may, I decided to, to sell it, uh, my Corvette. Okay, so what mm. do you have now? No, I, I use, I'm still using my parents' car, okay. the Toyota. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I still own the motorcycle. What kind, what? I, I, How many cc? 12, 1200 cc. So Ogata? Ogata, yeah. B before I use, I start using the Corvette, I used to have the motorcycle. Is I used to ride the motorcycle every day back and forth. You still have the Minkyo? You still have your license? I still have license. I still, okay. I still hold the insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't do the check in so. Okay. But my BMW is still in my house. You, why don't you drive your BMW? I have to, I have to go back to the overall, overall Minkyo. Overall, okay, mm -hmm. to get that all done, yeah. So what are your hobbies? Do you have any other hobbies? As you love commuting. You like to commute. How long does it take for you to get from your home? It's about 45 minutes between okay. Ueno to to this area, Hiro, Azabu. Do you take surface streets or do you take the expressway? Usually surface street. Surface street. Mm -hmm. That's why it takes so long, because you go surface streets. Mm -hmm. But you know shortcuts. Well, yeah, I yeah, know. You know. So, you know so that I, am, I, I don't mind having a big earthquake because I have a motorcycle. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So you go all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I remember the 311 right. when it happened. I was, I was in the, I was, can, can you believe I was at the counter in the bank mm -hmm. when it's happening to 14, 20, 14, 48, right. March 11. I was, in the I was at the counter at the bank for the bank deposit matter. Then immediately I came back to work mm -hmm. at that time after, after hit March 11 because quick in Tokyo. Right. Mm. But you were at the bank around the corner, the one in Hiro. No, I was in the bank near my house. And then you drove all the way. Yeah, to the I didn't expect that traffic was down after the, after the earthquake. Right. Mm -hmm. But my motorcycle really worked during the earthquake. So <laughs> you took the motorcycle all the way across. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have? But you can't feel it on a motorcycle in the car. You, it's hard to feel. Usually hard to feel. But I, I was lucky. I didn't ride it during that. Just a hit when. No, I mean, but they had so many afterwards. They kept on having aftershocks. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. didn't feel any of those. I didn't. Probably I was lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. After shock, I, I was riding. I was not riding, probably. Right, mm. right, right. Wow. So, what do you? What are your plans for the future? <laughs> I, I, I must ask my 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 wife to start working. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, what do you? You want to start working again? What's she gonna do? She's gonna practice law or something? Or well, she, she needs to go back to the, the law, law, law firm. Right. Mm -hmm. She'd have to pass the bar here in Japan. Uh, she can only work for Chinese-related business. I got it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she speaks Chinese. Now she, her Japanese is really good now? She's really good. She got picked it up fast. Mm -hmm. huh? My goodness. So I t your son's going to speak Chinese and Japanese? Right now. Right. And then he's going to learn English. I, I'm hoping. Right. Do you want to learn any other languages? I have started learning Chinese. You have you've started learning? Otherwise, I cannot talk to the, my, my son's grand, grandparents in That's China. That's true. That's mm. true. That's true. Are they, pretty, are they doing well? Are they good health? Uh, they are really good. They are, they are, really, they are in the countryside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are very, very nice, very kind of old, old person. Mm -hmm. Probably we can still remember the 30 years ago in Tokyo, 40 yes, years same ago. Way. Yes. Same way. So I really love them. Does she have brothers and sisters? Uh, she has one younger sister, one younger brothers in China. Okay, so mm -hmm. she's the oldest in her family too? Yes. You two are the same, and you have the same on the bottom. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has a sister after her, mm -hmm. then the brother. But you're right. The mm -hmm. same as you. Yes. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. that they, is they're good guys, too. That's good. Is mm -hmm. she f are they close in age? They're close in age, yes. They're close in age. Mm -hmm. And they're Nakayoshi, too, right? Very, 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 very oh, good. That is mm -hmm. good. That is Their good. family is really good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I bet saying, good. saying always warm heart and welcoming I'm my busy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what, do you, what are your plans? Like, what would you like to end the podcast with? What statements would you like to give? Uh, 
don't please do not make me nervous about that because <laughs> I'm not gonna make you no, nervous. No, I, I enjoy talking with you yeah. at this time and yeah. I always enjoy my community between mm -hmm. attack, yeah. embassies and okay. militaries and, and yeah. my my area and my community in my my house area. So mm -hmm. I like to I like to help to support more for them. You've been fantastic. Listen, your 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 ability to work with foreign community has been fantastic. Because when I oh, met you, you right away, no, when I met you right away, I said, "This guy's a good guy." You've been really good. You're always there. You're always present. You have your service ability is fantastic, and so is your staff. So that means you being their boss, you can always tell how good the boss is by how the staff are, and all of your staff are happy, love well, working there. You. And the, but what, some of the girls left. Some of the girls you had left. Was it because of COVID? Yeah, because of the COVID, she wanted to work more. Mm -hmm. But we had you a we had, had a hard time. We have a lot of patient. Mm -hmm. However, she likes to more and she likes to have more experiences during mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. So this is a po positive, positive reason to to leave from, from our right. store. That's right, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. No, no one's ever that I know of left because they didn't like being there. They love being there. All the people you miss, either they got married or something like that, that they left your store. Because the people, how long has, what's his name who's working there now, the one that's always fit and has a daughter? Uh, Mr. Yoshida. Yoshida. Kose. Yeah, Kose. Mm -hmm. how, how long has he been there? We are working together 24 years. See, like he does not want to, he's so good. He, yeah, he, he's, he owns the company. He also owns the company. He's the president of the company on his own. Right. Mm -hmm. And he has a daughter. I know. He's um, daughter is very talented. Sometimes mm -hmm. she was on TV. Mm -hmm. So she she enjoyed. We, we enjoy working together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a good man. He's a very good man. I really like him. You guys mm -hmm. are very, very good. Well, I want to thank you for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for inviting me. For sure. This, this opportunity is um, wonderful. Oh. I'm very proud of one of your 100 people on your post podcasting series. I'm really happy that I got a chance to have you come on. I'm glad I asked you and didn't miss it. Cause, no, you mentioned it. What you said is, I said the podcast. I said, Masa, I need you on. And you said, OK. And I was so surprised. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All of you watching this podcast, never forget, it's all on loan. Continue to reach for the stars. And you're too blessed to be stressed. <laughs>